ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇ സി അക്കാഡമി ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ ലെറ്റ് എസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദി കോൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് സർക്കുലർ ടൈം ഷിഫ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ഡി എസ് പി ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദിസ് ലെറ്റ് എസ് ടേക്ക് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഓഫ് എൻ ക്യാൻ ബി ഗിവൻ ആസ് വൺ കാമ ടു കാമ മൈനസ് ടു ആൻഡ് ത്രീ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ സീക്വൻസ് and we need to find a new sequence y of n that can be given as x of n minus 1 mod 4 so here we need to find a new sequence which will be the circular shift of the given sequence x of n so circular shift by one position so you can see here so x of n is given here for this we need to perform circular shift with one position so here mod 4 represents the number of sequence in x of n so here the number of sequence are 4 so that's why here it is mod 4 first let us represent x of n let us represent x of n by a unit circle and let us divide this unit circle in 4 half because uh, the length of the sequence is 4 let us write x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 now x of 0 is 1 x of 1 is 2 x of 2 is minus 2 x of 3 is 3 so this is the representation for x of n using a unit circle now let us represent y of n using unit circle first let us take a circle and let us divide it into four half now let us write y of 0 y of 1 y of 2 y of 3 now to find this sequence y of n since they have given the circular shift by one position and here we are having a negative sign right so here we are having a negative sign that's why we need to rotate x of n anti clockwise direction by one step so x of n we need to rotate in anti clockwise direction so we need to rotate x of n in anti clockwise direction by one step to get the sequence y of n so if we rotate x of n one step in anti clockwise direction so one will be shifted here so we'll write one here so two at this point two minus two at this point so we'll get minus two and three will shift at this point so we'll write three here so therefore we can write y of n is equal to so y of 0 is 3 y of 1 is 1 y of 2 is 2 y of 3 is minus 2 now if they ask you to find x of n minus 2 at that case we need to rotate x of n in anti clockwise direction for two steps so minus sign if they give we need to rotate in anti clockwise direction so if they give negative sign here in the question so you need to rotate anti clockwise direction if they give in example x of n plus 1 at that case for positive sign we need to rotate x of n in clockwise direction okay so you need to remember this concept so to analyze this we can use one more method so let us write y of n is equal to x of circular convolution n minus 1 mod 4 now for this equation we can write x of with this n we need to add 4 so we'll add 4 plus n minus 1 so this is very important concept you just remember this okay so this is the equivalent representation of this so here for the circular convolution 
they have given 4 here. So, we will add 4 with this n. If they give 6, we will add 6 plus n. So, if they give 8, we will add 8 plus n. Since they have given 4 here, so we will add 4 plus n minus 1. Now, let us put different values for n. Let us put n is equal to 0. If we put n is equal to 0 in the above equation, we will get y of 0 will be equal to, we will take this equation and let us put n is equal to 0 here. If we put n is equal to 0, it will be x of 4 minus 1, it will be x of 3. So, x of 3. So, here x of 3 is 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, the value is 3. So, we will get y of 0 as 3. In the same way, if we put n is equal to 1, at that case y of 1 will be equal to, if we put n is equal to 1 here. So, it will be 5 minus 1, it will be 4. So, x of 4. Now, x of 4 is out of range of the given sequence. So, for n, we can have the value from 0 to 3. So, 4 is out of range of this value. So, for that case, we will subtract with the length of the sequence. So, x of 4 minus 4. So, we got a value which is out of range of the given sequence. That is why what we will do for this value, we will subtract with the length of the sequence. So, we are having 4, we will subtract it with 4. So, this is very important, you can remember. So, this we can write it as x of 0, 4 minus 4 is 0. So, x of 0 is 1. So, y of 1 is 1. If we put n is equal to 2, at that case y of 2 is equal to, if we put 2 here, 4 plus 2 it is 6, 6 minus 1 is 5. So, x of 5. Again, 5 is exceeding the range of n. So, that is why we can subtract it with the length of the sequence 5 minus 4 that will be equal to x of 1. x of 1 is 2. In the same way, you can take n is equal to 3. So, y of 3 will be equal to, if you put n is equal to 3 here, 4 plus 3 it is 7, 7 minus 1 it is 6, x of 6. Again, it is exceeding the range of n. That is why we can write this as x of 6 minus 4. So, it will be equal to x of 2. So, x of 2 is minus 2. So, we can write y of n will be equal to y of 0 is 3, y of 1 is 1, y of 2 is 2, y of 3 is minus 2. These are the two methods you can use uh, the unit circle method or you can alternatively use this method to find the circular shift of the given sequence. You can take an assignment problem. You take the same sequence for x of n. For this, you need to find new sequence which is circular shift of the above sequence and here they have given x of n plus 2. So, here it is a positive sign. So, since it is a positive sign, if you take a unit circle for x of n, you need to shift it with clockwise direction by two positions or two steps. So, the positive sign indicates here, you need to shift the unit circle of x of n clockwise direction by two steps. So, write the unit circle for x of n, then rotate clockwise direction by two steps to get y of n. So, this is the answer you need to get, you can verify. So, this is the concept of circular time shift in DFT. Hope you have understood the concept. Thank you.